everyone. Hello, hello. I have been learning Docker uh, for some time now, and I, I was curious to understand uh, what what does it mean to have uh, isolated kernel namespace and C groups. And I saw this link. So as soon as I jumped into uh, Median, I was like, okay, this seems an awesome uh, material. My first, my first uh, desire was to turn this into a PDF so I could read at my kids daycare. So um, as soon as I print it, I come here, I try to look for the file, Cloud Drive. Did I save in that Cloud Drive? Did I? Yeah, okay, there you go. Oops. So here we go. This is, this is it, uh, 28 pages. And as you can see, uh, it looks pretty awesome. I, w I started reading and I was like, blah, 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 under the hood, then containers. And I'm like, something is going on here. And as a software developer, definitely uh, no. So just so I put side by side real quick. This is this is the optimized optimized version that you're going to see right now. So. Look here when I had the word containers and I had containers here. We actually on the right side, we actually lost one, two, three lines. We ended up the previous page with the hood and then the first three lines were missed. And obviously that's just page number one and two. <laughs> the same thing happens in almost every page. Like this image is a little bit cut and content from um, other places are also uh, missed. Like, like here, see item number four is completely gone in this uh, implementation here. So I wanna show a quick trick on how to make uh, this UI printed uh, a little bit more leaner, cleaner, without all those media and uh, propaganda at the bottom and all, without cutting the text. So it's pretty simple, but again, if you're not super familiar with um, HTML or the browser, you might not be comfortable with that. So as you saw, I just generated a PDF uh, pretty straightforwardly using the UI, uh, using the browser print function. But now you click inspect. If it's not automatically selected, click here to select the mobile version. Now use the first, uh, the top left corner uh, button to select the UI elements that you want to get rid of. A tip that I will give is use your use your keyboard to navigate up and down until you hit the uppermost element that's not grabbing the whole screen on the right side. So in my case, this is the one. Just hit delete on your keyboard or then come here and hit delete. And as you can see, that's gone. So I'll do the same for uh, some of the elements here, navigating up and down. I don't want to remove the name of the person so i'm not going to remove that but everything else the body's good um i'm going to go down all the way now and i'm going to remove those things at the bottom and just by doing that hitting delete on my keyboard yeah I don't know where that's coming from. Let me hit this one once again. One, two, three. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go, the whole footer. And now you have a much cleaner uh, screen. And as you can see, remove the, the inspect screen you had before click save as a pdf and as you can see there's no 28 pages anymore there's 27 and it's clean without all those headers and things uh, blocking the viewport and just hit save okay so that's how you can uh, clean up without having to pay uh, probably any median content that you want okay then you have like a cleaner one and a unclean one i hope that was a quick tip thank you have a good day